Jesse, good morning, buddy. What is going on, Michael? <laughs> good to see you. Yeah, it's uh, it's been uh, quite quite the past couple of months. For those that don't know, I actually just started first year of medical school in uh, New York, in southern New York. So I've been uh, been grinding through school, but uh, me and Mike are still going to be doing sled addicts. I might not be in as many videos just because I'm a little bit far away, but I will definitely make some appearances throughout the season. And I'm always here on the back end. We'll we'll remote you in somehow, maybe through Facebook Messenger. We'll figure out some kind of technology so I can take you along on some of the rides. Yeah, and I've already been informed that I, and you've already informed me that I'll still be uh, helping create all the backpack trips and that I will just live <laughs> vicariously through you. Nice. Well, it's good to see you, buddy, and hope uh, hope med school is going well. I know you're going to have a crazy busy couple of years ahead for sure, but it's great to see you. Yeah. Um, so we got a, we got a cool video. There's lots of stuff happening. It's October and obviously we're getting excited because the temperatures are dropping and, uh, lots of cool stuff going on. I think we wanted to chat a little bit today about some of the stuff that we heard from Polaris that's coming out, right? Yeah, no, Polaris has, uh, their new boost 850 motor, which is super cool. We haven't, um, had experience riding it yet, obviously, cause it's not out yet, but we've heard a lot about it. And I think, one of the biggest things about the boost that is different is when you compare it to like the Skidoo 850 turbo that they made, that is yep. basically like a compensator, right? Like it only gains power at, at altitude or maintains power. Meaning like if you have an 850 uh, Skidoo uh, regular 850, and then you compare it with an 850 um, Skidoo turbo, they're going to both be on the same playing field at sea level. But then as you get up in altitude, the regular 850 will lose power and the 850 turbo will maintain it. And yeah, the difference I, with the, yeah. It's this thing's going to be sick. No doubt. I mean, we don't have a ton of experience with turbos, but I mean, there's lots of guys out there that are turbo freaks. And I think this is something that everybody was sort of looking for. Right. And I remember a lot of the Skidoo guys last year, like, why don't we have a trail sled 850 with a, you know, boosted turbo. And, you know, here we go with Polaris is actually bringing something out, which is pretty cool. Right. Yeah, but um, yeah, I mean, I think this thing's going to be a beast, no doubt. 181 horsepower, right? On te with the the 10 percent, you know, added horsepower at sea level, it's going to be it's going to be nuts. And it's it's crazy because we were talking earlier, like we said, we had the 850 VR1 last year. Like that motor, as it is, is nuts. Like it's awesome. Yeah, like that 850, <laughs> the 850 Polaris, like we we even agreed last year is probably the quickest of our three sleds off the notch. Like comparing between the Mach and the 850 Skidoo, like that 850 Polaris is a weapon. And then now it's going to have 10% higher horsepower at sea level. So that means compared to the regular 850, it's going to be even more powerful. And then as you get up in altitude, obviously that regular 850 will lose power and that 850 turbo will maintain it. And then once you get up to a certain height, it's going to have like 50% more power plus, plus, plus. Yeah, for sure. I can see it again, like the mountain guys will be happy. And I think the guys who are even going to run it for trail, it's not necessary. I mean, let's be honest. It's certainly not necessary, but. But uh, we're snowmobilers. We always want yeah. more power, regardless exactly. of if it's necessary or not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty sick. Um, and I, I think you were saying you you got to see one, right? Because you were recently at the at the Big East show. Yeah, so I'll, I'll throw in some B-roll here from the Big East show. But uh, yeah, so I was there last week. I met a bunch of uh, YouTubers that we've been watching, which was super cool. Uh, not going to name any names, but some of them are going to be getting uh, uh, the boost sleds this year. So that'll be super exciting. They'll have lots of content on that. But yeah, they have a lot of uh, new graphics for it. Looks super sweet. Um, very similar, like all of the things that we loved about the 850 um vr1 is going to mm -hmm. be very similar obviously the engine is going to be a little bit more powerful but the seating position all of that is the same the handling is going to be the same so that sled's going to be a knockout i have no i like i have no doubt yeah i hope we get a chance to actually try one i mean that'd be sick if there's anybody we know up here that wants to invite us along for a ride or invite me over to do a video that'd be pretty cool too um certainly certainly big news and like i said we you know we loved the mock last year and that was kind of our first turbo experience right like we haven't had turbo sleds in the past that's certainly my first um turbo experience and they are really they're freaking amazing like how they how they build and deliver power i mean it's i can only imagine what it's going to be like on on a super snappy two stroke it's going to be it's going to be totally crazy right for sure yeah like i was going to say it's 
it's gonna have tons of power and like the reality is it's yeah it's just like going to be i have no doubt it's going to be really impressive definitely yeah and it's pretty cool i think they're definitely pushing the limits right i think that's um you know got like i said before guys from scooter were looking for something like this and i know they've got the free ride turbo which some guys been using and the mountain guys are, are running some of those turbos with skidoo um so you know it'll be interesting to see what happens next year if they decide to come out with something that's gonna be a little more trail friendly with with a turbo on a two-stroke that'd be really really neat so i think yeah. the other the other thing that's kind of cool is the idea that like in, in in past like when you were thinking of a turbo you're always thinking of a four stroke so if you want a turbo you're going to have to take that weight gain with a four stroke and now you're getting these turbo these turbos on an 852 stroke. On a 450 pound sled basically right yeah. so nice. sure there's probably a little bit of weight gain but nothing like a four stroke motor no definitely not so yeah you have the turbo plus you have a lighter weight machine so it, it's it's going to be definitely a bullet <laughs> yeah yeah, so I think they're saying like nine PSI boost, and obviously we know the aftermarket guys are going to figure out ways to of course. dial that boost up even more for sure. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing one of these things on the trail. I'm sure guys are going to have them. So be uh, hopefully when we get to test drive, one would be neat. Yeah, and for those of you that are watching this video, if any of you are getting Polaris boosts or know some information about it that we didn't mention, definitely shoot us a comment and let us know. And uh, we'd love to hear uh, your thoughts throughout the season and uh, how you like the sled. Cool. Well, it's good to see you, buddy. And I'm sure we'll be talking lots more. And uh, listen, for all those Polaris guys out there, you know, we certainly fell in love with that VR1 last year. If you're getting one of these things, you are going to have an absolute blast. There's no doubt. We love uh, the VR one, and now just with a boosted turbo in it, it's going to be <laughs> it's going to be pretty crazy. So, yeah, we'll uh, I'm sure we'll get on to uh, another video. Hopefully, we'll get to see one in person. Maybe do a demo, and uh, yeah, good to see you, buddy. Yeah, you too, bro. And uh, yeah, let's hope the season comes soon. Hey, I just heard they got snow last night, so. Oh boy, it's ready. <laughs> not enough to ride on yet. <laughs> no, not yet. All right, guys. Well, uh, good to see you, Jess, and we'll see you on the next one. Sounds good. If you like that video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the Sled Addicts YouTube channel, where we release content on everything snowmobiling. Also, hit that bell icon so you can be updated every time we release new videos.